Hello and welcome to this video on how to move SharePoint list data over to Dataverse. So how can we do this? This is a very common requirement which people have, organizations have. You know, they have data in SharePoint, SQL, um, Access, various systems, and they like to get this onto Dataverse because Dataverse is Microsoft's latest platform latest back end and it offers better security than a lot of the other back ends which have previously been popular so how can we do this how can we move our data over to dataverse well you can do it via power automate that is one way or you can do um, something called data flows so if we were to use power automate it would be something like this we'd have our sharepoint get items action which would get our list name and then we'd loop through that list and use a dataverse action to add a new row to the dataverse from our sharepoint um, rows alternatively there is an option called data flows and this is a much simpler way of doing it than, than having to write um, what could be a, a complex flow in some cases but here with data flows it makes the process much simpler so let's now go and do that okay so here I am over at SharePoint and this is the list that I'm gonna be transferring to Dataverse and it's called test list new and it's just got some data here for things like title status company approval date email address date received and that's it basically there's only a few records in here that I'm moving over so now let's go and create our data flow to move this data into Dataverse so if you go over to make.powerapps.com and over here on the left hand side you have some options one of them is Dataverse so if you click that underneath here you can see there's an option for data flows so I'm selecting that and right at the top here there's an option for creating a new data flow so let's click that and we just give it a name import test list click on create and now we have to choose a data source you've got various ones here there's different ones for SharePoint there's SharePoint folder we can see SharePoint list but the one we want here in this example is going to be SharePoint online list so it's this one so if I select that and now at the top here it's asking for the site URL so the site URL of our SharePoint site so I just paste that in there click on next and now it's going to show me all the lists that I have in that SharePoint site so the one I'm looking for is this one test list new remember that's the name of my my list in my SharePoint site test list new so if I select test list new and now click on this button here that says transform data and now it shows me all the columns in that list and it shows the data but it also shows a lot of other columns that I don't need so what I can do is I can now remove the columns that I don't need so for example this one here file system object type just click on that and then click remove columns here and it's gone I'm going to keep that ID field and I'm going to get rid of these three fields because I don't need these
I don't need this ID field here because I've already got my ID in the first column so I can get rid of this and really I can probably get rid of everything after this ID because I don't recognize any of these fields and I don't think I'm going to need them so I'm just looking at the fields in my list and those are the ones I'm going to keep so if I just hold down the mouse and click click on the shift key and click remove columns that will get rid of all those other columns so now I'm basically left with the columns that I need in my list so now I just click on next and now it gives me the option to load the data to a brand new table so it'll create a new table for me or I could load it to an existing table or I don't need to load it at all and here you can give your table a name so you can it's already put in like uh, the name that it thinks it it should have but you can change that if you want so I'm going to select to load it to a new table I'm going to keep the table name as the test list new I'm going to auto generate a primary key and the column name which you can change to whatever you want I'm going to keep it as name and I'm just going to check all these now so this is all the data that's going to come across these are the columns and if there are any multi-line text here I'm going to select that but basically they're all going to come over as text and now I click next and publish so it goes away and starts to do the import so it might take a while depending on the size of the of the list and how much data you're trying to bring across but at the top here you can see it's saying publish in progress so we can now see that it's completed its operation and it says published if it comes up with any red ticks then something has gone wrong and there's some kind of error somewhere but it seems all green here so so now I'm going to look at the tables and see if it's created one so we're looking for test list new and there it is we can see so let's click on it and there's our data so it's brought it all across quite nicely so that's how you use data flows to bring data from SharePoint across to the Dataverse. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the button to like it, or why not subscribe to my channel? Or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com.